to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal clouds about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, 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 Attention, all systems overloaded. Attention, power shortage. All systems are overloaded. Attention, not enough power for takeoff. Looks like all it's not gonna work. Well, that only confirms our theory. If even the spaceship couldn't. Can somebody tell me what's going on? Oh, him. How did we not notice him? Cancel takeoff! Takeoff cancelled to recalculate flight capabilities. What have you done over here? Everything's okay. We just decided to visit the ruins of an ancient town and do one little experiment. What sort of experiment? And where the devil are we? <gasps> we'll have to tell him everything. But then don't be sorry that you asked. Ben, didn't you ever think it was foolish to look for a reasonable life somewhere in space when so many unknown secrets remain on our own native planet? And all pointing to the fact that past civilizations were helped by some sort of extraterrestrial. We are all so used to the world around us that we don't pay attention to all the unexplainable things that actually surround us. For example, can anyone explain who's always tangling up our headphones? Or who built the Egyptian pyramids? Someone will say, why the Egyptians, of course, but that would be wrong. Each such pyramid is made of such huge slabs of stone, just enormous in size. For such constructions, they've even given its own special name, Megalith. Chico, give us some numbers. Why do I always have to do the boring numbers? And you get to talk about the most powerful truck in the world. They're not boring numbers. They're super pooper figures that make your brain explode. And only you can make them sound cool, Spikey. And anyway, I was never the best with numbers. Well, I don't know. I could give it a try. <laughs> the pyramids of Cheops, the maximum weight of a block is 15 tons. In the pyramid of Khafre, the maximum weight of a stone block is 42 tons. And finally, the champion, the pyramid of Mikarin. The maximum weight of a one block is, one second, 200 tons. Thanks, Chico. Now think about it. How could the Egyptians move such huge items without electricity or grains? But that's not all. Get ready to have your mind blown away. The Temple of Jupiter and the ancient town of Baalbek. At its base, there are three stones called trilithons, which are perfectly crafted stones with an absolutely perfect shape. Chico! The dimensions of each slab are about four meters in width and height, and in length, about 20 meters. They weigh 800 tons. Yes, these are the most super mega huge structures on the planet. Such a megalith can't even be carved with modern day technology, let alone them being moved from one place to the other. Currently, the loading capacity of the most powerful truck in the world is only 400 tons. 
So right now we're in that Bula, the Bala. In uh, Balpec, in the temple ruins of Jupiter. And these are the heftiest colossal stones. Now all that remains is to lift one of them into orbit. Some people think that the Trilithons are huge transmitters of antiquity, which were left here on our planet by extraterrestrials. Uh-huh. Or they were created by an ancient race of titans. But I like the one about the extraterrestrial transmitters more. This is all very interesting, but what did you actually want to do with them? To transmit them, we need to raise the megalith higher and send a signal out to our distant intellectual kinfolk. <laughs> Transmitters. <laughs> Not everyone can handle left by the truth. <laughs> Necessary power for takeoff found from alternative connection. Starting countdown. Five. Nine. Abort takeoff. Four. <laughs> three. Two. <laughs> one. <laughs> takeoff. Computer. Abort takeoff! Ben, what's up? Were you want to ruin our experiment? Ah! <laughs> it worked! It worked! It worked! Computer! Switch to manual control! Request denied. All power switched to previous tasks. <laughs> Don't worry so much, Pin. <laughs> we calculated everything. When we get out into space, we'll go into zero gravity and everything will be lighter. Fasten <gasps> your seatbelts. Prepare for turbulence. Attention. Energy overload. Flight interrupted. We've got to use your little super stone, or we're done for. You can't just fling away such a valuable ancient artifact. Extraterrestrial <laughs> transmitters shouldn't be lying around on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you another megalith. Even better than your extraterrestrial transmitter. <sighs> Holy carrots! Is that a promise? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's even got its own antenna. Oh, cool. No, that will work. That's a very strong knot. Otherwise, he wouldn't have held 800 tons. And what do we do now? Easier to untie it. Because you, because you told me to. So where is this other megalith that you promised to show us? The one that's even better. And with antennas. This is Palace Square in St. Petersburg. What kind of a joke is this? Where's the megalith? Right in front of your nose. Throughout our history, there are many secrets and mysteries. But there's no need to summon extraterrestrials each time. It's unscientific. While scientifically, we can look through history for other similar examples of which we know a little more. For example, the well-known Alexander Column, a real megalith, which made such an impression when it was unveiled. After all, 
It is made of a single piece of granite with a height of 26 meters and a mass of 600 tons. And this was also made by our ancestors, equally with no electricity and no cranes. How on earth did they manage it? Leading on the construction of the column was the wonderful architect Auguste Montferrat. He left a lot of sketches and pictures which depict the entire process of creating the column. First, a large piece was cut at a quarry. It took two whole years and 400 workers. The work was done with a common crowbar and a sledgehammer. One person held the crowbar and the second hit it with a sledgehammer. Then this huge piece of stone was separated from the rock with the help of some very long levers. From this square block, it was chiseled down to a beautiful round column. All of it done by hand, without any magical machines. Then the column was transported to St. Petersburg by being loaded onto a special ship that could carry a lot of weight without going bull bull. Once the column arrived in St. Petersburg, it still had to be raised on Palace Square. To do this, a large lifting device was made at height of almost 50 meters. And again, all the work was done manually. The column wasn't even fixed with anything. It stays in place due to its own weight. Since then, this amazing and beautiful megalith has stood for almost 200 years. Are you saying there are no ancient titans? And no extraterrestrials? <sighs> That's a bit of a letdown. <laughs> of course there were. We can see the amazing results of the work of these titans. And we are their descendants. Incoming signal from Chamomile Valley. My friends, this is phenomenal. Look what just fell on my house, literally out of the sky. This incredible object is obviously of an extraterrestrial origin. It's a sign, my friends, from our cosmic brothers. 